Hello and welcome to another episode of Drive Train. Today we have with us one of Honda's latest offerings in the UAE market, the all new third generation Honda HRV. Now, uh, the HRV it may look like it belongs to the compact crossover SUV segment, but actually it belongs to the subcompact segment, competing with the likes of uh, vehicles such as the Nissan Kicks, Toyota CHR, and Kia Seltos. Pricing, now let's just come to that. It starts at 84,000 dirhams for the uh, base DX variant all the way up to 99,000 dirhams for this uh, fully loaded EX trim. And uh, yeah, pricing is a bit on the higher side, but we'll come to that more in a bit. So the HRV has quite an interesting history. So in 1998, Honda launched the first generation of the HRV and they marketed it as the Joy Machine. And the car was aimed at a younger demographic because at the time Honda believed that all their customers were either elderly people or people who were not youngsters and so the HRV proved to be that fun and sporty model in their lineup. So it started life as a three-door vehicle and then the facelift uh, got a five-door version as well and it looked pretty cool with those uh, round headlights so that was pretty good generation. Then in 2015 Honda brought out the second generation of the HRV based on the city and jazz platform uh, with its coupe design and a sloping roofline it looked uh, pretty nice and that's also the first generation in which we got the uh, hidden rear door handles as well. And then we got the third generation of the HRV. Now for the third generation is split into two models. So this is the global version, uh, also known as the Vessel in Japan. So everywhere you go, this is the HRV you would most likely see. So it does get a variety of different powertrains in, depending on the country you are in. Here we only get the NA engines, so that's that. And you have another version for the North American markets uh, based on the Civic platform. So I'll put a picture of it like right here on the screen. Uh, that's a completely different HRV, nothing to do with this HRV right here. It's a C segment SUV, whereas this is a subcompact segment, so completely different vehicles. And that's again a bit more modern and it's an overall bigger vehicle compared to this HRV. So now let's talk about the engines. So here in the UAE, we only get one single engine, which is the 1.5 liter uh, naturally aspirated four cylinder, producing 119 horsepower and 145 newton meters of torque. The international markets do get turbo engines as well and in European versions are hybrid by default so you don't get any other powertrains there. Now this engine pushes power to the front wheels through a CVT transmission. Now Honda has given paddle shifters to simulate the gear shifts of a 7-speed gearbox uh, for the CVT so it's pretty okay. And CVT makes a lot of noise when you're trying to push the car but if you're driving it normally like in city driving and you know regular driving without pushing it that much it's pretty fine. So now let's talk exterior styling. So from the front overall the car looks really good. This is Honda's latest design language, a very clean and minimalistic look. So in front we have our large pentagon mesh grille, which looks pretty nice, finished in gloss black. And the headlamps, full LED, so LED headlamps, LED DRLs and LED fog lamps. And they do have an auto high beam feature as well. So it's just from low beam to high beam when necessary. Now coming to the side profile. So where do we start? The wheels, of course. 17 inch alloy wheels standard across all the variants which is good and we get a sharp belt line a very clean belt line actually joining the front headlamps to the rear tail lights so that's an interesting design touch as well and we have a new feature on this honda hrv called the walk away auto lock which is a pretty cool feature not gonna lie so uh, you just switched off your car uh, and you close the door and if you have the key with you as you walk away the car locks itself. So that's another cool feature of the Honda HRV. Another significant uh, trait of the side profile is definitely the hidden door handles. This is something which we got with the uh, second generation of the HRV. And uh, as you can see, it's very well hidden into the body. So from the side profile, when you look at it for the first time, it does look like the first generation HRV, the three door model. So uh, that's a very nice design touch. So you just open it by uh, yeah, pulling this handle right here. So at the rear end, we get this coupe inspired styling with the fastback design and Honda did a pretty good job at that. We get this single long LED light bar for the rear tail lights and the attention to detail is just absolutely stunning. So now let's discover the boot space. So it doesn't get an electric tailgate, it's a manually opening tailgate, so you just open it like that. Now I didn't get an official figure from Honda regarding the uh, boot space in litres and I can't tell you the boot space of the European hybrid versions as they have the battery pack behind. But what Honda did tell us is that the HRV has 60-40 splitting rear seats. So if you fold these seats down, you can store, or at least they claim that you can store, uh, two folded bicycles, a surfboard, and four to five suitcases. So yeah, that's a lot of space. 
and even with the second row of seats up there is a lot of space you can put like a suitcase in here no problems you do have the magic seats so yes magic seats is a feature of the honda hrv it's even there in the jazz as well so what you can do with the magic seats is that you can fold the second row of seats vertically upwards to store taller objects within the car so that's again a really clever feature and that kind of shows how practical the hrv is now coming to the interiors of the honda hrv we get a very clean and minimalistic interior. All the buttons and knobs are right within finger's reach, which is good. Like I said in the CRV review, classic Honda interiors, very well laid out and easy to use. And there are a few interesting attention to detail which I really like in this cabin. For example, when we put our foot on the brake to start the vehicle, the engine start stop button illuminates, showing you where it is, which is a nice touch. And overall build quality of the interior is really good. Uh, the touch points initially where you keep your hand are all soft. So you have this leather wrapping for the center armrest and your uh, door card armrests and a mixture of hard and soft plastics so the first places where you touch like in here all there are soft plastics whereas these upper ones are all hard plastics these lower side panels are also hard plastics here again we have some leather wrapping so overall the interior quality is fine so starting with the steering wheel it is leather wrapped you get paddle shifters behind you get your cruise control and all your honda sensing features here on the right side and you have your volume up and down uh, buttons to pick and drop a call all of them on the left side and here in the center we do have our instrument cluster so here in the uae we don't get the full digital instrument cluster instead we get this uh, two analog dials very clean looking uh, simplistic dials and in the center we have a 4.2 inch uh, multi-information display which displays a lot of information like your uh, fuel economy and your honda safety support system so uh, your road departure mitigation, collision mitigation, braking system. You have your trip A, trip B and all the usual stuff in that small screen. And coming to the center section right here, we have an 8-inch touchscreen infotainment screen. And to be honest, it does look a bit aftermarket with these uh, plasticky buttons, which I'm not a huge fan of. It's okay, it has all the usual stuff like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth connectivity. So that's fine. And it doesn't have any navigation, not like you're going to use it anyways because you have Google Maps from CarPlay instead. Then as we come below, we have our AC controls. Now this is a thing which a lot of people hated on the old HRV because they were touch controls. If you remember the city and the Jazz had these uh, touch panels for the AC controls. And instead now you have these uh, very clean dials and they have a very nice click to them when you operate it. And another interesting detail is that the temperature knob. So when you increase the temperature, the dial ring turns red. And when you decrease the temperature, the dial ring turns blue. So that's another interesting detail and also another thing about the air conditioning controls is that you have now three different AC airflow modes. So beside each vent on both the driver and passenger side you do have the small dial and coming below we have two USB-A ports, one for uh, connectivity and one for charging. We have uh, two places here to store your phones, no wireless charging unfortunately. Then we have a 12 volt charging socket. What have we got in the center? Okay, we have got a gear knob, again wrapped in leather, park reverse neutral drive, sport mode for the CVT. So when you put it in S or sport mode, you can use the paddle shifters. Coming down, we have our econ button. If you switch this button on, the AC performance is slightly reduced. But uh, to be honest, you use that button only when you're really close to running out of fuel and you want the maximum fuel efficiency, you click this button. Coming below, we have our hill descent control. It uh, maintains the speed of the car between 0 to 20 km per hour for smooth descent. Electronic parking brake, again, a thing which a lot of manufacturers uh, market as a safety feature, is now standard in many cars and it is standard on this HRV too. Right behind that, you have brake hold. You're stopped at a traffic light and uh, you take your leg off the foot brake. The car won't roll back because if brake hold is engaged, it engages the EPB or the electronic parking brake to prevent the car from rolling backwards. And when you put your foot on the accelerator to get going, it allows that as well. So yeah, it's a way of engaging the EPB at traffic lights without actually pressing and disengaging it. To the side, we have two cup holders with these nice spring triggers so it holds your drinks safely. Now coming to the seats. So seats, they do not have uh, electronic adjustment. They are manual seats. You can uh, push them forward and backward and decline them. There's no lumbar adjustment as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the seats. They do feel quite comfortable. The bolsters are really good. It holds you pretty well in the seat. And on the practicality side, uh, we have a glove box. The one thing I don't like about the glove box is that the lock for the glove box is located at a very strange place. So for example, you keep some papers quickly and you're trying to close it. It doesn't sometimes allow you to close it properly. Like for now it closed properly, but like sometimes when you keep papers in not properly, 
it doesn't allow you to lock the glove box when you push everything inside and then lock it very small niggle but it's fine here in the center we have a center armrest box and it's pretty small you can keep some small coins and stuff in there and yeah coming to the top we have honda's low emissivity sunroof so what they say is that it cuts off the infrared radiation and thus giving a cooler cabin now coming to the safety side of things let's start with airbags six airbags are standard on all the variants of the hrv and this also gets honda's ace body structure ace stands for advanced compatibility engineering which means it has improved firewalls and uh, compatibility with larger vehicles during frontal collisions uh, we do get a couple of uh, driver assistance features as well so uh, collision mitigation braking system or cmbs lane keeping assist system or lkas then we do have road departure mitigation system so what that does is that if you leave your lane it alerts you lane keep is basically it keeps the steering center between the two lanes adaptive cruise control with low speed follow so this is again one thing which is exclusive to this segment uh, i don't think the nissan kicks have it so uh, in nissan we have pro pilots similarly here as part of honda sensing we have uh, the adaptive cruise control with low speed follow so this combined with lkas is basically a self driving system and also if the vehicle in the front of you starts moving uh, it alerts you so that you can start moving as well and this is especially useful at traffic lights uh, right now i'm sitting in the back seats of the honda hrv and uh, it is quite impressive the back seats in the hrv so um, legroom is quite great i have enough wiggle space under my feet and uh, the under the support is also quite impressive it's not the greatest like taller passengers might need a bit more under the support but it's fine apart from that we have a foldable armrest right here with two cup holders and adjustable headrest yes you do get that on this segment as well uh, tweeters here on both the sides and uh, to increase the uh, airy feeling in the back cabin you can also remove these uh, overhead panels for the panoramic sunroof so basically you just pull this clip to each side and you should be able to remove these panels so basically pull these two clips and uh, access this wide glass area on top so other than that uh, we do get ac vents behind so this is one feature which the previous hr we didn't have uh, ac vents at the back it's quite important for our market considering the weather uh, below that we have a small space to like keep some stuff and two usb a ports uh, bottle holders or cup holders so that's also pretty useful uh, no bottle holders actually just cup holders and you have a place here to keep some coins and stuff so another new cool feature on the hrv are these uh, touch sensitive led lights so these are actually capacitive touch uh, lights so you just tap on them to switch them on and off and it's a pretty useful feature and quite intuitive to use so if you enjoyed this video make sure to share it with your friends and family and let us know in the comments which part of the hrv you like the most again if you have any specific cars that you like us to review put them down in the comments below and we will try to review them again subscribe if you haven't yet and once again stay safe have a great day and goodbye